Okay, I, I will introduce our speaker tonight is Gayanu Chitraker. Uh, she is an RN um, uh, with Fairhaven Homes Vancouver Lodge. She's our uh, RCC, Resident Care Coordinator. And she went to a workshop a few months ago and um, really was excited by it and wanted to share it with, with the staff, and with Family Council. Um, just on how to be happy for no reason. So I'm going to turn it over to Gayanu. Hi, Gayanu. Okay. Nice, Hi. nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, everyone. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so grateful to be here with you all here and to share happy for no reason. Okay. Is that sounds happy? Well, uh, I, I like to be happy, <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, so I yeah, know. I went to this workshop and apparently this workshop really <laughs> changed my perspective of my life and it keeps me happy. I know it's so hard to be happy in this chaotic world now when the war is going, pandemic is going, there's lots of things going on, right? Yeah. Uh, but um, this course taught me, even though we have those kind of challenges, there, how we can keep ourselves happy. This is what I learned from this workshop. So I want to share those things with you today. Okay. So uh, this I'm um, happy for no reason. Apparently, I, there is a book, um, and uh, Marcy Simov is the author of this book. Um, and I also did the workshop from her. So I learned from her. So the PowerPoint and all these um, things are based on that book. Okay, can we start, Anne? I cannot hear. So um, we can, um, if I can start now and then I'm gonna go on, okay, Anne? Oh, you're, you're muted. <laughs> you're, you're still okay. muted. <clears throat> oh, okay, now you're on. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Um, and so our purpose of um, today is to be inspired and live a happy and happier and fulfilled life. So have a practical, now today I'm gonna to discuss about the practical tools who, which we can use immediately to raise our happiness level. And there is three keys, I will be especially discuss about those three keys, how to be happy and use those practical tools in our life. So um, what we are gonna to cover today is, are uh, we gonna cover, I go a little, Give me, I'm not really good at technology here. <laughs> okay, we will cover like happy for no reason, the definition, what is the happy for no reason definition, then happiness set point, uh, your inner home for happiness, and, and other things we're going to talk about is three keys to inner happiness, the foundation, the pillar of the mind, and pillar of the heart. If I speak very fast, please let me know. Sometimes I do go really fast. Please let me know, okay? Um, uh, can I ask one question? Yes, uh, yes. Is the happiness is to, to make us happy or to make our uh, parents happy? Is it for... Uh, so this one is, it's not, it's happiness is not only to make us happy, we can make the whole world happy. So we can share oh. our happiness to the whole world, especially okay. we need it now in this time, right? Right. So this okay. is what, um, yeah, what we are going to talk about today, David. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the questions. Okay. So when we go over, if you have any question, you can ask me, okay? Uh, so now we can start with the definition here. It says like an inner state of peace. The happy for no reason is an inner state of peace and well-being that doesn't depend on the circumstances. This is what it's trying to say is when we are very deeply happy, 
um, we have an inner peace in our heart, right? So when we wake up early morning, we are very energetic and we are so happy and nothing matters to us at that time. Um, whatever happens in our life also, we are so happy. That inner state of the peace of the heart is called happy for no reason because there is no reason, but you're happy even though there is something going on in that uh, in that situation. So we are gonna, how we are gonna build this inner state of peace and well-being in, well -being in our heart. This is what we are gonna talk about that. There is some tools uh, scientific, uh, scientists had um, discovered for us. So we're gonna go with that and it will get more and more interesting to you. And then maybe there will be more and more questions for me. Okay? okay. Uh, so, Let's go. The scientists, there is two things, um, what you call um scientists have discovered. Like nowadays, like because of this chaotic like pandemic and then all this war, there is I'm gonna talk about the bad news and good news both. What happened? Like bad news is like since this significant during the pandemic and then this war, there is a lot of people are on happiness. And when the scientists did the research, they find out. Five, four out of one woman are having antidepressant medication. So it's a lot. So people are more unhappier and unhappier with this situation. And then there is another good news. What we can find nowadays is scientists find out how can be happy even though we have this kind of situation in the world. Yeah, that's what we are going to talk about today. So there is one thing I really want to talk about today is the it's called the happiness set point. So according to the scientists, what they are saying is we all have our happiness set point. So this was determined with this thing here. There is a pie chart here. So our happiness set point is determined 50% by genetics. So genetics, why it's saying is in our body, there is serotonin and endor uh, endorphins in our body, right? So if we don't have that enough, even though we want to be happy, sometimes it gives us not that great feelings. So here we're going to talk how we can change that feelings too. I'm going to talk about that, okay? So another thing is 40% is the habits. And 10% is circumstances, but we always think of the circumstances. It's just the 10%. We're thinking, oh, this, if my circumstances, these things get better, then I will be happy. This is what we are always thinking, right? So for example, oh, if I can, I can, um, I can pass my exam, maybe I will be happy, but it's, it's, it's sometimes if that I have example for myself, like, I used to think, oh, I came to Canada and I was thinking, oh, if I, when I go to Canada, once I get my nursing license, I will be so happy. I will be the happy person. But I got my license and I start working also. I always feel emptiness. No, this is not the inner happiness. It just gives you certain times of happiness. So because of this thing also, I took this course and try to learn what what is the things which keep us all the time happy and inner peace in our heart so this is what um this uh, course is going to teach us so there is another thing we have the huge part is 40 percent is habits our happiness is depends on our habits so when we change these 40 percent of our habits even this 50 uh, percent if of genetics is going to change. So how it's going to work is when we have those habits, we're going to talk about those habits, um, the change of habits and all these things. Once we are able to change that, then it will build our serotonin and endorphin more and more. So from that, that 50% also can be changed if we have we change to 90%. This is what scientists are saying. So if you don't understand, please ask me. I can um, make you more understand. Yeah. So this is, um. so now we are gonna talk about how, yeah. how we can change these uh, habits. Like we, it's so hard for everyone to change the habits. So we can do one, uh, what you call a one um, test here. 
how hard for us to change the habits. So maybe let's have a little bit of fun just for two minutes, okay? So I, I it's so hard to show in the video. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit closer here so I can see what I am doing. <laughs> okay, when we do the hands like that, can we all show our hands like this? Let's do this exercise, okay? There is a crease in our hand. Can you see the crease? Yeah. So let's, here also, let's map those crease both hands like this. And when we do this, let's do it. Close your hand. Which thumb is on the top? Everybody has right thumb or left, left thumb? Right thumb. You have right thumb. The scientists are saying if we have right thumb, they are a very good thinker. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, but it's, I'm just joking. And then who has the left thumb? You I have, have left the left thumb? one. <laughs> so they are saying like left thumb people are sexier and beauty, beautiful, okay? <laughs> but I'm just, I'm not talking about those one. I'm talking about is like this. So we all have our hands like this, right? So some has left, some have right. Let's do it differently now. So let's try to put our left thumb on the right. How do you feel? Weird, <laughs> awkward. Awkward, that's, right? That's my normal comfort one. <laughs> so this is, this is the same thing. It's so hard for us to change the habit for us too, because we are used to doing same thing on and on. And if we want to change our happiness set point, then we have to change those habits to be happy. So this is why it's hard. There's another example is like this. When we do like this, let's do it like this. We put our things like this. Can we try? Let's fold your hands like this and let's do the other way around. Sometimes we don't even know how to do the other way around. So how do you feel? <laughs> it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how hard for us to change the habits. So that's why we are always staying in the same level of happiness set point. So to be more happy, we have to change some of our habits. So this is what we are going to learn today. So let's go to the other slide here. So this is home for happiness. So, but here in, I'm gonna go a little bit about all this, uh, all of them, but I will be describing three keys ways to happiness today because of our time limit. So here is the thing. So we have a foundation here in the house. You can see that it says responsibility here. This is the foundation of the house. So to be happy, the foundation is taking responsibility of ourselves to be happy. So nobody is going to make us happy. We have to make ourselves happy. So how can we do this? This is what we are going to talk about. So for the foundation, like in, in foundation, we will talk about is taking responsibilities means don't, no blaming, no shaming. I think we can go a little further, the slide. Foundation, taking responsibility of your happiness, right? No blaming and no shaming and no complaining. So over here in foundation, we will always talk about, do you want to be a victim or do you want to be a victor? So there is a victim and victor threats. So if we want to be a victor and happy, then we shouldn't be blaming, shaming, and complaining. So I know when it's easy to say, but sometimes it's so difficult to do. Not to blame anybody, not to shame, not to complain. We are, we are always complaining of something in our life. It's very hard. But if we start to do less and less, we'll be more and more happy. So we're gonna talk about how we can do um, no blaming, no shaming, and no complaining. So it's very interesting. There is a, some tool, like we always said, when there is something happen in our life, we'll say, okay, 
try to focus on the solution. This is in the foundation. Maybe I have more slide we can talk about. Um, so we, we always say is like, stop blaming and let's take responsibility of that blaming. Why we are blaming? blaming? Let's focus on the solution rather than the problems. We are thinking of the problem. Oh, this thing is happening to me. Um, we're thinking all the problems, but we, here to be happy, we should be not focusing on the problem. We'll focus on the solution, right? So now we are saying, okay, how we can focus on the solution? Okay, there is a problem there. Problem is sitting there. It's for example, I have problem. I'm thinking like blaming one. Oh, this person uh, so and so is very mean to me. And then I uh, mean to me. And then I have problem with that person saying, oh, this person is so mean. Um, and then I'm thinking and thinking why this person is saying to me and I'm blaming to herself. Oh, she is mean. That's why she's blaming me. Then I will be saying, okay, how, then if I stay back and think why that person is saying to me, then if we, we can sit back and think why this person is saying to me and then think about, if we think and go and go deeper and deeper instead of, instead of react to that and think about it, we'll find out okay, this person is saying this, 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 this thing, and what I can do not to be mean, that person is not too mean to me. So that means like we can go and ask, why uh, why do you, why you are mean to me? And we can find out and do some resolution in there and not keeping that things all the time in our mind. So it will help us to be happy, right? So blaming. Then complaining, we have always in the life, we com complain too much too, oh, this work is so hard. Um, today I have a, such a hard day, I, it's work is so hard. So instead of thinking that, how can I make that work fun now? Let's focus on that. Instead of thinking, oh, this work is so fun. How can I make it fun now? So let's brainstorm lots of things and then make that work fun. We, when we can make that work fun, we forgot about that complaining and that's going to keep our mind happy and it will give us an inner peace. I am talking and talking. Is it okay? Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. If you have any question, please let me know. Right? No, so it's better to know and then we can discuss together then it will be more fun and if you have more ideas about that you can discuss with me too so we can share each other the, um, the other that knowledge and the, all the things and feelings and we always encounter those things and it's good to know right yeah yeah and then we always say like a uh, And when there is always the problem, there is always something happen in our life. It teaches us a lesson sometimes. We always think like something happened to us. When we see that the challenges come, something comes, difficult time comes, it always show us something or teach us some lessons. So try to look on the lesson instead of focusing on the problems. Um, we let's focus on the lesson. What what is lesson it is trying to give us? What kind of gift we are gonna get from there? If we start thinking the differently, then we can feel happier instead of thinking problems. The, the, um, we, instead of thinking problems, we're thinking about solution. Okay. What is the lesson in there? What is the gift in there? Stay back and think more. So maybe we will find out some lesson from that problems too. Or maybe we, I have to do better next time so that this problem will not come in future. So that way we will feel happy if we just thinking, oh, this is the problem. This is the problem. Instead of thinking, okay, I had this problem, but what did I do? If I do it differently, maybe it will not be the problem anymore. Right? 
So this is uh, this is what it's trying to teach us, like don't blame, don't complain, and uh, don't be a victim, be a victor. This is what we are saying here. Like uh, this is what we also teach our nurses here too. Like we always, we have a huddle and we don't blame, we don't complain, we focus on the solution. We always come with all the- In this video. Yeah. So we focus always on the solution. So when we focus on the solution, we can find the solution and all the staff are happy and we are happy too. So this is what it try to teach us is about that for the foundation. And now we can go about another in the house we talk about is pillar of the mind. The pillar of the mind is my, it, it's going to tell us like our mind is very, very powerful. So what we put on the mind, it will comes out. This is what it's going to try to say. And we, our mind, we have a 60,000 thoughts a day. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't count it. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of things like 60,000 thoughts per day, day and then 95 are the same thoughts. Isn't that interesting? Like, like 95% we are thinking, just think about now, just give you, give someone or two minutes and think, did I think yesterday the same thing and today I am I thinking the same thing? Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> it doesn't click with me, no. <laughs> no? If you, no. yeah, this, when you go home today, think about it. Oh, I was thinking yesterday this one and how about today I'm thinking. So most of the time we are thinking about the same thing. That's what um, uh, research and scientists are discovering now. Like 90% of the thoughts are same we thought yesterday. And it know. says here 80% are happiness robbing thoughts. So when we think about that in that 90% also, 80% are happiness robbing thoughts means negative thoughts. We are thinking 80% negative thoughts. For me, those numbers are very high. I'm more in the, in the 40s and 30s. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know those numbers are very high, but they they, stay, they take this number in the majority of the people, right? Not on one or two people. Um, okay. So that's what it is. So th that's why it says what we put on the attention on grows stronger in our life. So when we are saying 80% of our thoughts are negative, so now we we want to put like how can we bring this negative thought and then remember this thing okay today i'm telling david is very good you're doing very well everything is going well and i'm telling 90% of the good thing about david today and there is one thing i'm going to tell the bad thing what do you remember david what do we remember We always but, remember the bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So when we say 90% of good thing and 10% bad thing, that 10% stick our, in our mind so much, not the good things. For, for right? me, yesterday was yesterday is gone. It's the past. You know, I, you know. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Right. But the majority of our people have, we have that tendency to, what you call remember the if people are saying nine thing good and one thing bad we tend to remember that bad things so that's why like that that's a one thing which will rob our happiness because we're thinking that yeah. bad constantly right so then it's gonna it's not gonna give us happiness because we're thinking on the negatives so now, how can we change this? It's going to say here, we're going to talk about that. So how can we change our neural path of happiness, right? They attach to each other, right? This is the same oh, sorry. for your thoughts and your feelings. Your thoughts and your feelings oh, are no more attached to you. You started the other presentation. Just give me a second. 
I come, something comes here. <laughs> so I sorry want about to that. So now, oh, Haven, did you have a question? Yes, we can do that way. So you're very right. So now these thoughts are like, this is what we're going to talk about. When we start changing our thoughts every day different in a positive way, then we can build that inner happiness in our heart. So there is few tricks we can do to bring that um, happiness here. Look for good. It says like, um, I'll, look for good is if we are starting to look like whenever we go out if we start looking five things good in a day and you're saying oh this this thing is very nice another thing is very when you see the flower you're saying oh this flower blooms really great very beautiful how do you feel in your heart when you say to yourself <laughs> do you feel good <clears throat> And even for the pet, sometimes you're walking around and you're just seeing this pet, like the dog, very beautiful dog. And you said, oh, this dog is really great. So when we look for the good things, only not looking for the things, um, and um, five things good in a day, you that increase your happiness set points. That's what research says. Another thing, what it's going to say to you, if you see something like when we see the sunrise or sunset or anything beautiful, they said, let's stop for 20 seconds and watch it. So when we stop ourselves and 20 sec seconds, watch that beautiful thing, how do you feel? Even when we go to the garden and we see a beautiful flower and we stay there and watch for 20 to 30 seconds, like, or maybe one minute, how do you feel in our heart? Do we feel happy? Yes. Yes, right? And they said, go for three to one ratio. What that means is, for example, most of the time we have a, when we have four thoughts in our mind, we have three, they said most of the time we have three negatives and one positive thoughts. So if we want to be happy and increase our happiness level, then we have to do opposite. Let's think three positive and one negative. Yeah, we cannot do this thing in one day. We try to it takes time for us to change ourselves like we already said we already try ourselves how hard for us to change the habits right so those are the three things if we are we are doing it's not one day if we try to do every day those three things it definitely change our happiness level and i did try this thing I just try this thing like two weeks, three weeks. It, it makes me a different person. So this is about the mind. If I'm running late, let me know, Anne, okay? Oh, for sure. Yeah. So another thing, we are going to talk about the heart. So pillar of the heart. It said, let love lead. Indeed. Yeah. That's beautiful saying. Right? So, so for the pillar of the heart, so we always say like what makes us happy? So the people tend to be happy who can easily forgive somebody and who practice gratitude, who is very appreciative of others, like gratitude and kindness. If we practice forgiveness, gratitude, and kindness, that brings our happiness in our life. So that means like when 
gratitude. If there is a, I tried one book for gratitude. Like it's it's like a, when we feel like there is always something to be grateful about life. Every morning we get up, there is so many things to be grateful. So sometimes when we ask, okay, right now I can ask and all of you and say, how many things you're grateful about? How many things do you think you can tell me? <laughs> so, I think a lot. There's, there's a lot of things that we can be grateful for. That's really right. The people who can think a lot of things to be grateful for, they are the happy people. Right? There is so many things, even though there's lots of things going around in our life. Like sometimes we have so many things going around. And if we concentrate on that going around the challenge, instead of con uh, concentrating on the challenges, it's better to concentrate on the gratitude things, what we are grateful of. If you put that beside and when you start thinking of, oh, I'm grateful for the cup of tea I have in the morning, simple, simple thing also, if we try to be grateful, like at the work also, like if, if our friend does something to us, oh, I'm so grateful for this. So there's so many things to, even we are breathing, we have life, that is also, we have to be very grateful we are here. I'm here sharing all this happy, um, for no reason journey and I'm so grateful here, right? There's so many, if we, when we say exactly what are the things we are grateful, we maybe there will five or six things comes and we, if we start writing down every day, <clears throat> you will find tons of things we are grateful for. And it makes you happy when you writing and writing every day, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for the, the breathing, I'm breathing the nice fresh air, I'm grateful for my work, I'm grateful for family, there's lots of things to grateful for. If we start to be grateful for things we have in front of us, we'll be more happier. And we talk about the kindness, like it's like when we do something or help somebody or be kind to somebody, how do you feel? If we do something really um, good thing for somebody today, how do you feel in your heart? I think it's a really good feeling. That's why that um, random kindness uh, yes. act. Well, always like even like we can do even when we are walking around walking in the street and then if somebody need help ask for help when we help that person or if we see somebody need help we help them we feel happy right that person feel happy it's same thing but we will be feeling more happy too oh i get to do something good for somebody i make i bring a smile on somebody's face so so kindness always give us happiness too Another thing we talk about is forgiveness. I know sometimes um, there is in the life, there is something happens like somebody hurt us. But if we are not able to forgive, it's really hard on our heart. So we will, it's hard to be happy. But when somebody hurt, um, I want to give my example, like I got hurt from somebody very badly. I I was keep on thinking first in, in the beginning when I don't have this course, I was used to keep on thinking, why this person is hurting me so bad? Why this person is saying me so bad? Thinking and thinking and overthinking and I'm making myself so miserable. Then now, when I took that course, I learned how to think. My thinking mindset is going to be different so how i'm thinking is why this person is hurting me why this person is saying to me like this and then i start thinking maybe this person is hurt that's why this person is trying to hurt me too we don't know what's going on with that person's life so i was thinking about that person why this person is hurting so when i'm looking and looking then we find out most of the time the person who is hurt is trying to hurt others. 
So then I feel like, okay, this person is hurt. So this person is trying to hurt me. So I forgive that person. Forgive means not to forget. We forgive them. That doesn't mean like I have to forget, oh, this person is going to hurt me. I'm just forgiving this person for my peace of my heart. So for myself. So when we are able to forgive somebody, then you have an inner peace in your heart. So you feel happy. Am I saying it right? Yeah. yeah. If you have different views, you can share, right? Because we always learn from each other. So I wanted to add something to the kindness, to the previous uh, item that you said. Yes. I, I think that uh, kindness and trying to do something good and help others <coughs> is a uh, one side of the cone, coin. The other side of the coin, which, which is as important as the other side, is let the other people help you. Sometimes you are so much pride that you don't let other people help you. And if you let the other people help you, it causes the other people get happy. That's even you, right. even, even you may not need that help, but let let them to help you. Yes. For simple things. Even That's for simple. Right. Yeah, you're right. So helping each other is is a great thing. It's not only we help. It's nice to help get some help from others too. It makes us happy, and other person is happy too. You're right. Yeah, it's, it's kindness is to each other, right? To be kind to each other. Mm -hmm. This is that COVID taught us too. This pandemic taught us to be kind to each other too, right? Mm -hmm. So that's about the, um, the heart, the pillar of the heart we talk about. Uh, and then we always said to be happy. I know we, we are always busy, always busy in our job, sometimes work. Every time we are busy, but we we shouldn't forget ourselves. We have to love ourselves too to be happy. We always do for others. Like right now, um, we have to, we always do for others, but we have to do it ourselves too to be happy. Like, for example, we can do lots of things. We have to love ourselves. I mean, we have to take care of our body. Like, we do exercise, we do meditation, eating healthy, going to the nature, right? There's so many things. So when you go to the nature, doing exercise, eating healthy, um, having a very uh, positive people around you, that gives you also the happiness in our life. So always it says like happy people attract happy people. So when we have lots of happiness in us, we we share that happiness to other and we get the same happiness from other. It's the positive vibes gives positive vibes, right? So we always say to be happy, it's nice to have a circle of positive people around you. And if there is somebody who is not positive also we can if we are lots of positive people we can turn that people to positive and be happy too um, it says here there is few quotation we can read about it says here i have to move this thing there it says here love heals if i told patients to raise their blood levels of immune globins or killer T cells. No one would know how, but I can teach them. To love themselves and others fully, the same changes happen automatically. The truth is love heals. So it's a very nice saying here. We talk about forgiveness. So there is a um, little practice here. Uh, it's the, it's, the method called Hoponopono. Um, this is the this is also the method some um, uh, people use to forgive somebody when somebody get really hurt or something. They just close your uh, close their eyes and they say these four things. And sometimes it helps um, for our inner peace too. Like I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, and I love you. If somebody hurt you, so when we 
think about that person in front of us and when we do all these four things and it's gonna it's bring a little peace in our mind um that's um they do that matter for um, the whole, this matter is very popular and it says it works and um, it's all about gratitude and appreciation we talk about that um See what people actually want from their job. So this is another thing we talk about the heart is appreciation. So when we appreciate other, other people appreciate our, us too. So it, it makes us happy, right? The, from the what people actually want from their jobs, appreciation, feeling included, understanding, job security, good wages, interesting work, promotion, company, uh, loyalty, working condition, and tactful decision discipline it says here and i have i'm almost close to the end of the powerpoint i want to share a little bit about happiness the, when people are happy happy what what's going to happen is like it says here happiness build the immunity so when we are happy we tend to live nine years more too happy people live more than nine years more than their age. And it build our, it boost our immunity. And we, when we are happy, we can work more because it gives us lots of empowerment and lots of inspiration to work more and more. And we can attract success and abundance, whatever we need in our life, right? <coughs> so, so now I'm really, really into it. So um. This is the end of our presentation. So if you have any question, you can ask me. And let me know also what you learn from this PowerPoint. Is it, um, I want some feedback too. Is it um, a little helpful for you or it's the things you already know or we wanna know too, right? I think it was a lot of information. Um, um, definitely some of it, I think we've heard before, it's messages that come through, but it's always good to have it said again and reinforced. And uh, some of the statistics were interesting as David was commenting about, you know, how many thoughts we have a day, like how is that even possible to, to, to kind of track and count and how does that work and what kind of impact that can have on us. Um, but it applies to so many different areas of life as well. Like, um, as you were talking, I was thinking, well, relationships with your, you know, your loved ones, with your children, with your partner, um, with your parents, so much of that is, I think the more positive interactions you have and, you know, try to increase those and lower the, um, negative ones. It just builds a happier relationship. So yes. yeah, lots of good stuff. I think um, a lot of the points, they sound familiar and the concepts sounds simple. It's, uh, <laughs> but, but really it, it's hard when you don't, you know, in practicing. I mean, That's like, right. it's just it's so easy to, you know, to say, oh yeah, I agree with that. But you try to convert five negative thoughts into positive ones, like three times a day, or, you know, if you try to be a little bit more disciplined, I, I, it is incredibly hard. For certain people, I don't know, some people are, are lucky enough to be born more positive than others in nature, but I really find it hard unless you're consciously uh, reminding yourself to do this throughout the day. Yeah, it is, um, it is really hard, but um, it's like we can, uh, we cannot do 100% very interesting thing i have on five minutes i want to share about um there was um it was um it was done from the um, 
research. So it's about the heart math. It's called the heart math. And what it is is about is when we do the gratitude practice, there is one practice I want to teach you is it's, it's just take two minutes. Like it just do is when we put our hands in our, um, we can do it now together if we want. Um, what is you, we put our hands on your heart and uh, close your eyes. And then we, we will concentrate on our heart. When you close your eyes, just concentrate on your heart and think that you're breathing through your heart. And then think about the things, what you are very happy about in your life. Just think about those kind of things. It's going to raise your vibration very quickly to make you happy very quickly. There is a research one time the, um, in the hospital, the patient's blood pressure went really high, very stressed and went really high. And they, they practice this heart math. Uh, it, it called inner east, east technique. And then the blood pressure went down. So when we practice this tool, it does work. Only thing is we have to practice not one time, couple of a couple of times in a day. So another thing what I can do is I have these tools. I can share um, to Anne and I can, uh, then Anne can share to you too. Don't get so that you can practice those tools at home. Can we do that, yeah. Anne? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we can send those uh, techniques. I have in a little, little bullet, so it's easy to do it at home. And when you practice those, like I like that inner ma uh, inner East practice too. It's really work on your, and when you're stressed or something, um, your blood pressure is high or something, it helps the person to come down and calm ourselves down and have that inner peace in our heart. So I can share those um, tools to you. That'd be great. Yeah, even yeah. the ma mind, uh, we talk about lots of things. There is where I didn't go too much detail because of the time. So we can share that technique so we can practice at home. Sure, that'd be really great. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that would be really useful to have some um, things, yeah, to, that we can take away to practice. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I can send it to you and maybe we can send it tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be that? great. Yeah, as a follow-up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know what will make me happy. I take things one day at a time. You know, every right now, stock market's down. Everything's expensive. You know, what can make me happy? So, David, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do you think can make me happy? <laughs> hey? Yeah, everything that that's what we are talking about. Happy for me, no reason is we are not going to think about those uh, circumstances which can, which is making us unhappy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I'm looking at it every day. Yeah, it's right in front of me. I mean, there's nothing else to, you know. Actually, that it. that's the trick, David. That's the trick. <laughs> It's, it's not to look at the change. market going down. It's not to look at the market going it's down, going <laughs> but rather the market is on sale. No different than when, you know, you go buy bread and your groceries, your canned corn, it's on sale. It's a matter of, do you actually want to buy more or not? So well, it's a bit of a paradigm shift on how to look at things. That's yeah. right. That's absolutely right, Dan. No. <laughs> it's actually making me happy that I have opportunities to buy. It's no, right. right. You're absolutely yeah. it's, it's just a matter I, I'm of in, okay, I'm in no I'm position to buy to... right now. Right now, I'm just looking at whatever I had there. It's just sliding down. <laughs> it's yeah. a paper like, like loss. A it's coming down like a waterfall. It, so don't worry about it. But I think some things that could probably make most people happy is. Uh, music from whatever era that they grew up in, right? That's you know, right, yeah. Some of us, um, like, I was just listening to some stuff from the 1980s, and that got me kind of, oh, because I hadn't listened to music for a while. I've been listening to, like, more podcasts or audiobooks, yeah. but um, had, had a chance to just listen to some old music, and like, oh, I remember when, and, you know, that's, that's, 
that's the music that was playing. And then you fast forward to the 90s. It's like, oh, yeah, and I remember when. <laughs> that's a little bit of nostalgia. That's right. Yeah. Music is always make everybody happy, I guess. <laughs> music is also one thing which always keeps everybody happy. Yeah. You know, but I, I think it ties back to that Victor Frankl um, quote that you said you had mentioned yeah. earlier is um, it's that choice. And it's, it's what Shirley mentioned earlier also is how do you just pause and move to that choice? Like, you know, oh, I'm having a crappy day. I just feel really lousy. And then you have to make that pause, that conscious effort to say, hold on, where, where's the, where's the, you know, uh, silver lining in this? Yes. Right? Yes. This is what we talk about. Yeah. We always have something going on in our life, but how we take it and how can we change it? Shift it to different positive. And we do have those that just shifted to net positive. That's what um, we are trying to say to keep us happy, right? If we dig on the only the negative, then we're going to go down, down. It makes you depressed. Yes. You know, maybe it's too hard to, you know, to, to think, okay, I, I'm feeling really bad today. <laughs> and to really look for the positive sometimes is too much of a leap. Yeah. But when I'm listening to the news, it's really easy to get down on, everything and all the disasters particularly the last couple of days you know with our east coast um, mm -hmm. canadians yeah. in such a tough time but but it, what how do you find something positive in that and what i notice is that the media is featuring stories on just a tremendous outpouring of kindness and how people are reaching out to each other and That's helping right. each other and so for me it's not I mean, it's a positive thing, but what it's given me is hope. So I'm thinking, yeah. you know, to look for the hope in a situation. And like Anne pointed out, it's yes, yeah, I too, I'm afraid to open my investment statements that come every month because I just thought, okay, it's, it's been really bad. So I put it aside. I don't even want to look at it. Yeah. But, you know, so Anne's reminding us, well, yes, it's down for now, but it's also the flip side is an opportunity and, and there's hope that, you know, yes. that things will come back up. So, so I'm, I'm wondering if sometimes, you know, the positive might be too big a leap, but try yeah. to, to find reason for, for hope for things to be better. Yes. Might, yes. It might be a little bit easier, yeah. at least for me. Yes. How, how are you finding like for um, the residents, you know, our, our loved ones where they're feeling down? I know the recreation team is awesome yes. in, in trying to do their best. Uh, in fact, I don't know how they do it because they're always very uplifting. Yes. Um, they're, they're really amazing. I, I don't know how they do it, honestly. Yes. Yeah, the, for the resident too, that's, that's how we feel too. We are in this profession. Um, uh, we really love our residents. So when I go there and we make some, I know everybody is here. One thing for seniors is the loneliness, right? They do feel lonely. This is for everyone. So what we do is we want to make that loneliness out a little bit. Maybe we will not be do 100 person, but we can do some. So we go and talk and then, you know, sometimes they laugh. And that makes us really happy. This is what something we do. That's how we get our happiness. I'm not doing anything. I'm just go and talk and I say, okay, well, how is your day today? What you are doing? It's a kind. So this is like, I know you're doing really great today. When I say really great today to that person, I feel happy too. This is what we are sharing here. It applies everywhere, even our kids too. Oh, you're doing such a great job to our kids. We are happy and they're happy, right? So it's, um, who, who it's, it's is the gratitude new is really works. Huh. Yeah, who's a new person who's replaced Fran now? Oh, Fran is not replaced yet. We have still casual coming. Oh, okay. okay. So hopefully we're going to replace soon. But yeah. um, it, I, I think there is always the activity is there. Yes. 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 Yeah. No, Fran, uh, Fran made a special effort because um, my mom is usually in her room uh, by choice, right? Her, her own choice. And so Fran really makes an effort in, in trying to connect with her. So Now, uh, Faye will be coming back soon. So Faye will be there for um, the permanent in in city. So we'll oh, have okay. some perma per permanent staff there. 
Okay, that's great. That's great. Yeah. One of the nice things I heard one of our rec staff tell me is that um, it doesn't feel like coming to work because she gets to come to work every day and hang out with her friends. That's how she views oh, her that's job. Right. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's so sweet. I mean, yes. yeah, and, and when I, you know, the activities she does and the things she, she tries to do, it's, it comes through. Yeah, yeah. I feel same way. I have always uh, people in my office, always the resident comes in my office. They sit down there. I have company here in my office always. <laughs> and I do my work. They just sit down there. We talk. It's um, it's it's very nice feeling. We have that because um, I also coming to work here. I'm always happy. <laughs> Good for so you. We are with, it's everybody mirror each other. Right. Yeah. So if I come happy, then all the staff are happy. The residents are happy. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the culture, right? Like you, it's you awesome. are creating the culture for, you know, the, the nursing staff, the care aides. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of times, because, uh, you know, everyone has a rough day, right? So, mm -hmm. but I think when, when you create that culture for, yeah. for folks to feel um, that, that they can just, you know, be comfortable yeah Great. it's happy for me also i'm here just a year but i'm very happy to come to work every day <laughs> and then uh, i'm happy with the, our residents our staff everybody so families uh we all happy <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. just out of curiosity um i don't know why my internet connection is not good Hopefully, I'm still coming through. I know Shirley is in uh, Shirley's mom's in Vancouver. Where, where's David, uh, your loved one, and Hamid, your loved one? My mine is in, in Fairhaven in Vancouver. Yes, my oh my mother God. lives in uh, Burnaby. Oh, Burnaby, okay. And then there's Roger and Carol. <clears throat> yeah, hi, um, Roger. Hi. Yeah, my mom's um relatively new resident in Burnaby. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the, um, the approach and the, the staff in general. Um, present, pleasantly surprised. And even, even this presentation, like even though people um, like David, you're, you're saying it's hard to be happy. You, you don't come across as unhappy though. You come across <laughs> as thoughtful and, uh, and um, inquisitive. And you know, yeah, I mean, happiness is not just constantly laughing your head off or or whatever right it, it's also just having a state of inner I guess uh, stability and calm in some ways and said so, well what the heck you know that, that's just the way it is and um, I can handle it and people are always worse off somewhere else and but I but I feel I feel for you and um, yeah I just want to say thank you for um, for creating um, as best an environment as possible for our elderly um, parents mostly, I suppose, um, to uh, to approach their uh, the, what's ine inevitable for all of us, which maybe wasn't highlighted in the presentation, but it's something <laughs> all of us must have in the back of our minds. Oh yeah, one day I'm going to be maybe um, not very um, not very uh, able to think straight and um, forgetting what time it is, uh, what day it is, even with a calendar. Oh my God, you know, do I want to do I want to want to go there? Well, for some of us, I guess it's the, the, the writing is on the wall. Right? Mm -hmm. So, but not all people that are in that state are, are desperately unhappy. Um, my mom is not terribly happy, but some days she calls and she's just fine. She's just doing fine. And I think that has quite a lot to do with the staff being who they are. Um, but my mom will always find things to complain about. So <laughs> just the way she is. So anyways, thank you. I'm gonna leave a bit early. Um, but I'll try to attend um, future meetings as well. It, it's so kind of good that she's finding something to complain about because that means there's mm -hmm. only room to go better. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's finding the positive side of things, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so thanks. <laughs> see you, Roger. Yeah, see you later. Bye, Roger. Bye-bye. Okay. Nice meeting Okay, you. thank you so much for joining and in this workshop. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Diana. That was really, um, like I said, a lot of information. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I am so grateful to share this. And maybe uh, this is my first time doing this presentation. Maybe something doesn't went well also. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but okay. um, I'm very happy to share that. 
Thank you, Gayanu. It was fun. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I wanted to appreciate for uh, providing this presentation. And if you let me, I would like to say bye and leave the uh, the meeting. Okay, sure. Thank we you. were happy bye. to see you, Hamid. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye now. Bye, Thank everybody. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. I know we usually wrap things up around 730. Um, uh, it's 7.22 right now. Was there anything, topics that, that uh, you guys would like to, to chat about right now? Um, I did take a quick look at the action item list. There's nothing really pressing on it. I can share it if you want, but um, I think it's more just jobs for me to do that I didn't get to this summer. Unfortunately, I had COVID for a little bit, so that that took me down and out. But um, um, that was are we still recording, Em? Oh yeah, I can turn it off if you like. Thank you. Yeah, thank.